up everybody it's brock and we got a brand new episode on this fine friday today hope everyone's staying safe out there by staying healthy doing good today we are learning about a very cool goby or as other people like to call my dart fish this is the scissor tail goby or as other people call them the scissor tail dart fish we'll jump right into it prices on them you'll normally spend about 25 dollars for one of them but i've noticed a lot of places will put them on half off a lot of times so you definitely got to watch out for those deals Tank size tend to be about a 30 gallon. Now I have seen people put these in their more smaller reef tanks and they do really good. So that's also an option if you have like a nice little nano reef tank. Hair level, super easy. This is one of the best beginner fish people can get looking for something different, something cool that'll catch people's eye. They are a beginner fish because they eat really fast once they've been in the tank and they're very hardy. They're easy to take care of, and they're also disease resistant, so you don't have to worry much about it. And another thing is they get along with most all fish. Temper, they are very peaceful. They do great with other peaceful fish too. They're not one that's going to stand up on their own, so make sure not to put them in like a really aggressive tank. They won't do that well. Reef compatibility, yes, they are from the reefs, and they will do a lot better in a reef tank. But you can also put them in fish-only tanks. They'll do really good. Temperature, you want to keep it about 72 to 78, pKH 8 to 12, pH 8.1 to 8.4, and your salinity 1.020 to 1.025. Everything's basic there for them. Max size, they get about 5 inches, which is pretty large if he gets his full size. So make sure you don't have a lot of them in a small tank because 5 inches can take up a lot of room for a fish. Colors on them. They have a very, very light blue, almost white head leading down into a very, very dark blue, almost black body towards the back of their tail fin. It's very cool, especially whenever you have a bunch of them in a tank together. Diet, they are carnivore. These guys are going to eat pretty much anything. It shouldn't be hard to get them to start eating. Uh, frozen cubes are some of my favorite things to eat. <laughs> I just say things I like to eat, things I like to feed. They love frozen cubes like mysis and brine shrimp. They also are really good about eating pellets. A lot of times fish will come up to the food too fast and it won't get down to them because they're a little bit more shy at the beginning. The pellets are really good about floating down to them quickly and they can get them. And also flakes are good too. Origin, they do come from Africa and different parts of Indonesia. I've also heard talks of them being captive bred, so eventually you won't even be getting them from the wild anymore. Compatibility, just as they can be in groups and with other gobies. The main thing I've noticed is whenever they're small, whenever they're more of a juvenile age, small groups of them do really well. Like you see in the video, they all hang out, they're doing fine. But as they do get older, they tend to get a little bit more territorial over their spots. And instead of a group, they more like to be as pairs. So a lot of times people will just get two of them so that they eliminate them ever starting to fight each other. Seen them do really good with other gobies like firefish and purple firefish, but a lot of times, unless you put them in all at the same time, they'll already be territorial over spots in the tank. And if a fish gets over there near them, they will charge them at times. So you definitely want to watch out for that. But like diamond gobies and sand sifting gobies, no problem there. You'll do fine with putting those together. They can burrow and they tend to do it when they're frightened or when it's nighttime they tend to go down and hide a little bit more so make sure you have a nice soft sand bed for them don't get something like crushed coral down there for them to run into it wouldn't be good for them so pretty good little thick sand bed for them and also a really fine sand bed and it'll really be good for them to dive to under and burrow if they ever get scared from somebody in the tank glass lids are a must they do jump i mean they're a dart fish they do jump a lot you also want to make sure you have them on specifically at the beginning of taking care of them because they tend to jump whenever they're in a new tank. So make sure you have glass lids on, make sure you have any covers over the tank, making sure there's no little holes he could find a spot at. Other than that, that pretty much hits on everything you need to know about the scissor tail goby. Like I said, he is a beginner fish, so there isn't much to taking care of him. Peaceful tank, fine sand bed for him to get in, make sure you have your glass lids on. And if he's more of a juvenile, small groups do really good. And if once he gets older, tend to be in pairs is when he does better. And also as they stay in a tank longer, they can get territorial over the spots they do hang out in the tank. So definitely beware of that if he starts chasing a fish too much. He might be finding his little cave that he likes to stay around. 
But other than that, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Check out my other videos. And I will see y'all later. Stay safe out there, y'all.